What a beautiful day, hey? Don't be fooled. I've only been here about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Just first calf, just got out. 45 minutes ago, I was on Chesil Beach and it looked like this. <laughs> I was looking at the weather forecast when I left home and I thought, well, it's a bit windy. Mm. Thought it'd be worth going down, giving it a shot. See if there's anything about. But when I got there and I was met with that, I thought, well, I have a cast anyway, so I'll set up one rod. Nah, it just got buried instantly. It's just completely unfeasible. You wouldn't think it was the same day, would you? So yeah, this is Preston Beach again. Where I came a couple of videos back. When I was at home, I've just, I've just thrown a couple of potatoes, onion, garlic, a few herbs, a bit of pancetta and a bit of cabbage in the box. Very random, literally just grabbed it before I left. I didn't bring any stock to you, actually, damn it. Else, I like to have, but I don't know what I'm going to cook yet, if anything. So, uh, well, it will be something because I'm starving. I think it's plenty of whiting out there, the rod tips are rattling away. Um, I'm going to make some like uh, parmentier potatoes, I think. I'm going to go from there, parmentier potatoes, I'm going to put some onion and bacon in with it. Um, some pancetta lardons. And I've got a bit of cabbage in there as well. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to dice the potatoes up first. Let me just uh, put them on there. Not too big, not too small. I'm going to dice them up and then I'm going to power boil them. Hard boiling them will not only soften them and let them cook quicker in the frying pan, it'll also get rid of any germs from my manky fingers. <laughs> All the better. Just power boiling. And now I'm going to throw a bit of my seasonal job. I'm going to check a bait while that's cooking away. I'm just going to slice my onion up while the, uh, while the spuds are boiling away. So I did the thing where I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. You didn't miss, miss a whole lot. I just had a whiting, but... Uh, the potatoes I just popped into foam in butter and oil. Got the butter and oil nice and nice and bubbly. I just pop my potatoes in and I'm frying them off now in the butter and oil. This point I'm gonna pop my onion and garlic in. Go all 
all about my pancetta. Look at that in there. Now I have some Cavolo Nero, black cabbage. this oops see what cabbage is doing hmm steamed nicely in there yeah. turn this onto my plate yeah. in my waiting you guessed it a bit more of my uh Special seasoning on there. Let's get this, going. this will cook in no time. While that's happening, I got some parsley sage from my garden. Drop that up. Just enough heat there to cook this fish. You can see there, just beautifully cooked. Pop this on our cabbage and potatoes and pancetta. There we go. And we'll take our herbs, sprinkle them over the top. Preston Beach Whiting, the Parmenti Potatoes, Cavolo Nero, Pancetta and Onion. <laughs> As usual, I'm absolutely starving. That. Don't look at my fingernails, just look at the food. Oh. I think pancetta, potato and onion is just one of the most magical things ever. And Cavolo Nero, as well as a bit of a bit of green, this gives it a nice bit of chew as well. Well, that was it then. About a trillion white in and a couple of congas, and a nice plate of food. I'm going home now. See you next time. <laughs>